Hello folks, welcome to the Captain's Academy. Today we'll be going over the upgrade options for your newly acquired Actus 2 Interceptor. The Actus 2 is a mid-level spawn, short-range fighter, but it does feature a number of moddable options, including weapon hard points, thrusters, a compartment for additional generators, shield placement, and a number of other features. So let's go ahead and have a look at what those hard points are. Uh, starting out with our thrusters, uh, we do have options for additional jet booster placement, large. Uh, this would be for reverse. We do spawn in with a pair of them in the back there, so it gives it somewhat of a robust acceleration. Um, if we want to be in a situation where we want to control a reverse, say we're on a higher G planet hovering over POI or we want to fade out of an uh, engagement with a CV. We can opt to upgrade to the medium jet boosters here, or jet thrusters, rather. Um, in order to do that, we're going to have to uh, replace the placement of the weapon mount there, so you would want to transition it over here. That would be your ideal placement there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we want to remove this thruster placement here and then take the blocks below that making sure not to go past this level here marked off with the X uh, finally you're going to remove the deco there and that should be your placement alrighty um, so we do have uh, it's and predominantly, again, it's an interceptor role. You want to move. Uh, you want to move through the enemy. It's designed as a support fighter, uh, working in conjunction with other vehicles such as uh, Stag. Uh, more on that later. But um, yeah, it uh, there's not too many uh, placements for additional stray thrusts or various other ones. But there are a few, and we'll go over that here. So. Our options starting out are going to be, we can take these lanes here. So this could either be additional lift thrust with this placement. Oops. So we could convert it to that, we could convert it to vertical, or rather than do that, we could go strafe. So then we would want to take out uh, these blocks here. So that would give you a couple additional strafe. Um, now, you could consume this here. This is a optional uh, turret mount, or you could put in an additional straight thrust there if you wanted to do that. Uh, that pretty much fulfills the thrust placement. And again, there's not too much going on with the, the optional thrust. Now, um, yeah, that's it for that. So as far as weapons, uh, your mounts are going to be 8 to 10. Uh, depending on if you uh, consume this here, uh, if you go for the medium jet thruster for reverse, then that's going to bring you down to uh, eight weapon placements. Uh, so starting off, what we want to do is we have lanes underneath the lasers here. So we would take out this block and we would push all the way back. Uh, you don't want to go past the X. Uh, make sure you want to get rid of these thin lanes here so the guns have unobstructed fire path. So, your weapon of choice. Uh, if you have a uh, array of weaponry, I would suggest that your heavier stuff go to the center line and your lighter weaponry options go to the outside so it doesn't impact your roll rate too bad. So moving on, we do have an additional placement here. So you take out that layer of block. You, again, you don't want to push past, past the X. Uh, you want to take care of your thins, get rid of those. That and, and there's your 
your last weapon placement. So that doesn't impact the aesthetic too much. Could go for some smaller weapons on the front. Maybe these uh, these lasers could go to the front or some other smaller weapon. It's going to preserve that aesthetic a little better. Or maybe that looks cool to you. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so now we do have a additional uh, placement for turrets. Uh, we don't spawn in with any, but we do have placement for up to four. Um, again, you could go here. This is an option. Could go like that. Um, now, if you're if you're gonna overload with some turrets, uh, keep in mind that it's really gonna silk away from the interceptor roll. Uh, now you do have thrust to sustain your forward momentum for a good a good bit of additional weight but i wouldn't try and overload it too bad unless you're confident with your ability of flying a somewhat sluggish vehicle all right so that would be our turret placements concluded uh now what we could do is if we wanted to one of these could go to a radar or if you'd rather opt to there is a placement on this last line here uh, you could go for radar placement or perhaps some other device, maybe a trauma station or something to that effect. Uh, but if you want to see, you want to go for radar, that'll be up until you right here. Okay. So now, um, moving towards the interior, what we have is our compartment for devices. We have uh a little bit of space here now we could put a a warp drive or a jump drive rather for sv now again it's i would you know th well this is you know it's up to you but me personally again the role here is uh, as a short range interceptor but if you wanted to you could fit a jump drive here uh perhaps a shield place below that so let's have a look at that So yeah, you that have a uh, placement for a shield, you could go jump drive on top of that. Uh, would get you, give you a little bit of space left there for additional generators to feed all of this stuff. Of course, you'll probably need a little bit more CPU too. Um, yeah, so that would do that for you. Kind of essentially fills it up. Uh, for reforged players, you probably want to take out some of these small generators and convert them to the advanced. Um, now, it comes standard with uh, what is it, the eighteen or one point eight harvest and two k ammo. Uh, so there is the option to expand on that if you wanted to. Let's say maybe you wanted to have uh, one of these converted into a miner or something. Now that is an option, uh, not suited for that but of course you know it's it's got a good range of mod ability if you want to go that route maybe you want one of each style maybe one's a minor one's a interceptor maybe one's a long range scout so you got a couple options here but first in order to get into the compartment just giving you a heads up if you want to get in uh the drone doesn't fit so you're gonna have to get in here crouch down um you'll have to uh clear out some of these blocks uh also, for vanilla players, your extended CPU is going to be on either side. Uh, so if you want to take these out and upgrade it to the advanced. Now, okay, so your ammunition container, it is, that's, uh, that's going to be a link up right there, the A letter. So you'd want to take out that RCS. And now if you wanted to, you could start stretching additional cargo containers linked up to that A. Uh, same thing for the opposite side. So, this is one way to get into it. Now, the other way, if you wanted to, might be easier for you, is just to retrieve the cockpit, and you can replace that later. Um, so, again, you want to look at these uh, gold RCSs. That's going to be your link up. So, that would be harvest there. Right? So, you know, maybe you want to do some rearranging as well. Maybe you want to move the RCS to the, uh, to the back, or... Uh, generate us forward and you know that's all up to you but that option is there 
Yeah, quite simple. You know, you do that, just uh, replace your cockpit. Easy peasy. Cockpit uh, number two. And when we get that color back, there it is. Real simple. Uh, of course, you can also upgrade the cockpit. This is just the standard one, so if you upgrade it to the uh, armored one, that's going to give you a little bit more rigidity. Um, so, okay, uh, now we do have um, a, a different way on how I'm doing the colors here. Typically, I'll have like a, uh, a copy and paste code, and, and you stretch it throughout there, but um, I've only have one color or um, one texture map to a color and there's not really much else going on so it's not necessary to send you guys the the code and have to copy and paste that but this will be your mapping for your color so if you wanted to change that you know you would just uh select one of these other colors right here you know this copy paste boom you know color's done so not so much of a hassle of uh, tabbing out to the workshop page and having to copy and paste the whole line. So just a simple one color or one texture placement, replacement, and your color's good to go. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, so constructor. We do have a constructor placement option. Uh, that's going to be between these two lines here, these two dashes. So if you wanted to place a uh, constructor... There it is. Easy peasy. All right, so you're fully geared. Um, yeah, you're ready to go do some damage. Now, okay, so the way this build works is <laughs> it runs out of gas. Is that? No, that's not what's going on. Okay, so this is designed to. Yeah, of course, you'd have to make do for your compliance with CPU and all that other stuff, so save us a little bit of hassle here. I'm not going to have to worry about that. Alright, so uh, the idea with this build is it's going to work in conjunction with this upcoming build here. This is Stag. Um, so think of like uh, Wolfpack Tactics. Uh, you, perhaps you'll run into a situation where you're fighting a CV or maybe a POI or something like that. Um, this would be your uh, predominant DPS coming out, and maybe you'd have a couple of these guys uh, just tagging. Uh, normally, like any kind of engagement, it's like if uh, like a hit and run, hit and fade, where you have to back off and charge the shields, where the enemy will start recharging the shields too. So the thinking is that these interceptors work in conjunction with stag. Maybe stag's backed off, recharging the shields, and these guys go in. And they just tag the CV and uh, prevent the shield from recharging. So, somewhat of wolf pack tactics. So, if you'll notice here, we have the vertical docking pad mount. And so, what we want to do is park this thing right here, right under the uh, one of these thruster pylons. There it is. So, could mount up to four of them. Could do a better parking job, too. <laughs> but yeah, you could mount up to four of them. Uh, one, two, three, four. And you got four of your guys, you know, just hanging out, chilling in the back, waiting for that target to pop up, and, and you guys go and wolf pack it. Um, it should be robust enough in order to fulfill that role, uh, even for some of the, the bigger... CVs, you know, maybe like a camera or something like that. So long as you're not, uh, you're not getting into a situation where you stop and fight. Uh, of course, you need a heavy shield or something more considerable. Um, spin to win, you know. Don't get hit. Don't stay and and uh, engage the enemy. Just uh, just mow through. Just thrust through and uh, keep the shields down. Uh, so that's the idea behind this concept here. Um, yeah. The Actus 2, ladies and gentlemen. Going to a workshop near you. Thank you, folks. So, catch y'all later. Have a good one.